IJSBA Offshore Endurance National Championship race was born in 1990. Reborn in 2002 off the shore of Long Beach, California, and it's become the granddaddy of PWC offshore racing. So, so important is boat prep for this race. I don't know why, but it seems like every year, three, four, five, six boats will break in the first 10, 15, 20 minutes. Number 58 needs tow assistance. This event is special because it's got a heritage to it. You know, years ago, I did it on a Wave Venture 1100 in really rough conditions. Back when you had a compass and you were fueled over there, I did it one time. I grew up in beautiful Long Beach, California. I've been racing jet skis for 30 years. I started at Long Beach Marine Stadium on a stand-up. I've been doing this race since 1998. The serene brutality of the ocean claims victim to boat number seven, Craig Warner. Iria Lemoyne was the first to arrive at the Avalon turnboat. After the, the first turn, I, I'm really far from the other one, and after I try to be safe to return from Catalina to here, and I, sometimes I check on my back and uh, I try to win safety. Mike Klippenstein made a fierce effort to close the gap and chase down the leader. At the turnboat, the water conditions were pretty gnarly rough. The waves weren't as dark as last year, so you could actually see them and read them good, but it was really hard to uh, find your rhythm with the cross waves. Cassius Sanders making his debut appearance, winning the manufacturer stock class and third in overall results. And I didn't know what place I was in, but generally I stayed in my same position the whole race. 26 riders from around the world, over a million dollars of custom-built watercraft boats. This offshore race is like no other. <laughs>